video um if you're new make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff and as you can see um i have a new intro now and i have a new outro too so you know just wait to the end of the video to see that but um anyway as you can tell by my braids look weird but as you can tell by the title i'm gonna be doing an assumptions about me video I'm sure um, most of you guys have seen this video before, but if you don't know what it is, basically I just um, asked my Instagram followers to give, to like, um, tell me some assumptions they've made about me or like things they've assumed about me or something. And um, I'm just gonna be like telling you guys if their assumptions are true or they're false. So yeah that's what today's video is looking like so let me just stop talking and let's get into the video okay so the first assumption is you're goofy um that assumption is true i'm very goofy um if you don't know me like if we're not close i might seem a little bit antisocial because like if i don't know you i probably won't like go out my way to like make like a full conversation to you or just something like that so if you don't know me like that then i might seem antisocial. but for everybody that's watching this that like knows me kind of and like is close to me you should know that i know that i'm very goofy and weird and all that i'm very playful i joke around a lot so yeah okay the next assumption is she's probably mean but actually ended up being nice um for the being mean part, everybody says that. Well, everybody says I look mean. Not that I am mean. Except for my close friends, because you know I play around with them a lot. But like I'm not mean at all. I'm actually too nice. I'm actually too nice. Which can be a bad thing too. So I'm not mean. I'm too nice. Like way too nice. Like I'll be letting stuff slide. But I should not be letting slide. But I'm getting better at that. I'm working on it. And not like letting people like you know super love me and stuff like that. So yeah. But then I actually ended up me not see ya. Like see, like before you meet me, you might assume that I'm like mean or something. But like once you get to know me, you know, I'm very nice, goofy, and all that. Um, the next one says hella bougie. Okay. A lot of people say this. Um, maybe it's because like bougie like my definition of bougie is that like you feel yourself 24 7 like you're super like classy and, like all that that's my definition of bougie everybody has a different definition so i think people say that about me because like my style like i dress like my outfits are like cool like i know how to dress and then like like my probably not like my appearance because my my um personality i want to say it's bougie i like i mean like i'm pretty like confident in myself because like and like you know everybody should be confident in themselves so i mean i'm confident in myself but like bougie like i don't know i mean like it might be my appearance that makes me look bougie because like my clothes and stuff i wear like nice clothes like that. so yeah i don't really know about that one i'll probably lean over more to the no side because like i'm not like super like cocky and like a little bit conceited but not like too overboard like conceited like i'm better than everybody type conceited like um you was gonna be hella mean another one that says i was gonna be mean i get that a lot you know since i've um started um high school everybody has been saying that i have like a mean mug or like a resting face um i i, I do because look this is my resting, my resting face. That's my resting face. So, like, when I'm just, like, not doing it, like, I'm just, like... <laughs> so, maybe that's why people might think I'm mean before they actually meet me. Because, like, my face is not too welcoming. Um, can't really... I can't really control that. I'm sorry, because I don't want to be cheesing the whole 24-7, so... 
I just be like that. Like, so my face is not too welcoming. So maybe that's why people assume that I'm mean. And um, I don't know. Yeah, that's why people say I mean mug and stuff, which I don't unless I do it when I don't realize it. I'm pretty sure if I was mugging somebody, I would do it intentionally. I don't know. Maybe I have a natural mug. I'm not sure. But um yeah. You're nice. I thought wrong. But I love you mean. Oh my gosh. Um y'all this is my best friend said this, so yes, I'm very mean to her. I'd be bullying her and no, I'm just playing. But she thinks I'm mean to her. Whatever. That's only because that's my best friend. I'm not like, I'm not like mean to like everybody. And it's weird because her assumption is backwards for everybody else. Everybody else is saying, you looked mean but turned out to be nice. And then her assumption is that I looked nice and turned out to be mean. Like I said, like if you're my close friend, I'm gonna joke around with you and like say little stuff that, you know, other people might think that's mean, but that's why I only do it to my close friends because those are the only people I could play around with like that. But if like I'm not that like close to you, I'll be like, like I'm pretty nice. And like she told me like I look nice because like I was quiet and stuff. And like I don't know, I used to be really shy back in like sixth, seventh grade. Um, I started like getting out of that habit like eighth grade, middle of eighth grade. Now, I'm not, like, really that shy no more, to be honest. I'm not really shy no more. But, yeah, I used to be really shy, so maybe that, like, gave off, like, that I was super nice or whatever. But, yeah. So, that assumption is true, because I am nice, except for her. I'm nice to everybody, but her. Hella spoiled. Okay. See, I... I call myself spoiled, like, on, like, Instagram and stuff. Um... I was the only child for six years, so I was spoiled, and then my sisters came, and that spoiledness kind of, like, drifted away, but I still, like, like, if I, if I asked for something, like, if I had to, like, make it into a percentage, I would say, like, I get what, like, I asked for a good 75% of the time, so 75%, that's not too bad, but that's not, like, too good, so that's, like, a C. If we were in school so yeah if you want to give my spoiledness a grade i give it a c because like i get what i want like most of the time so if you want to call me spoiled go ahead but i'm not like overly spoiled but most of the time i do get what i ask for and that's not even just because like me it's just because like how my parents like raise me like that's just what they do i mean nothing wrong with it to a certain extent but yeah that's just what they do so yeah won't like me um i'm pretty sure i would like you because like you know i like most people if i dislike you then like it takes well i get annoyed by people easily but for me to dislike you you gotta do something like so i'm pretty sure i wouldn't dislike you because like i have even mentioned like this so yeah but like if i dislike you just know that you really like did something because like i get irritated people like oh my gosh she's so annoying but like i want to say like i don't like her uh probably stuck up <sighs> it's a lot of definitions for stuck up too so like what do you mean by that like stuck up like like super conceited because if you're talking about that then i talked about that earlier in the video that i'm not like overly conceited but i'm like you know pretty confident in myself you know i mean we all have, we all have insecurities but like you should definitely like have like some kind of confidence so yeah so i don't think i'm stuck up because like i don't like i used to have a really bad like bragging habit when i was like younger but i got out of that because like it's not nice to brag some people don't have what you have like don't have like the privileges and the good thing that you have so you shouldn't brag in their face because it can make them feel bad that's what causes jealousy and stuff but like it is okay to like share your accomplish accomplishments with people we don't like brag too much like it's there's a limit I, i'm saying like that you're a rude person i'm not rude at all 
like I said, unless like we're close friends, then I'm not rude at all. Like, y'all, these chips, they're like good but nasty at the same time. But I don't, I don't care. I'm hungry. So, you see me making like faces? It's because it's nasty, but it's good. If that makes sense. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I'm not rude at all. She look hella mean. I know I look mean. That is a true statement. I'm not mean, but I look mean. I didn't even notice I looked mean until I got to high school. Because nobody told me that in elementary or middle school. Now all of a sudden everybody's saying, you look so mean. Like, literally. Like... Almost every day, somebody will ask me what's wrong. Because I'm making my resting face. Like, everybody's like, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing. That sometimes is my pissed off face. Because, like, one bad thing about me, I wear my feelings on my sleeve. So, as much as I try to hide my emotions, I can't for nothing. Like, I don't know. It just says, like, sad on my forehead. Mad angry like it says my emotions on me like i don't know how people be figuring out like so that something's wrong with me but i don't know i thought you was mean as fudge thought you was mean as fudge nope 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 one of the nicest people Ugh. What the hell one of the nicest people you would ever meet facts yo Think JK, I don't know you. <sighs> I'm just like, can we have a moment of silence? Thanks. You know, I take, I'm all, all I'm gonna say for this one, you know, even though you said JK, I still feel like it's a little bit shade throwing shots fired. I'm just playing, but like, all I'm gonna say is that I take care of my body. As I should, so therefore it is not. So yeah, that you bougie and don't. Um, most people I already covered the bougie part. Um, but um, I do keep my circle like limited, like small, because speaking from speaking from experience, things can be deceiving. So. There's a lot of people who I thought were my friends, but in the end, they turned out to be fake. Not really my friends, snakes, and all that stuff. So, from experience, now I know. Like, that's why everything is a lesson in life. Like, those people, I thank God for being those people in my life so I could, you know, learn from my mistakes. So now, I will have. I'm sorry. I only have, I just counted out my fingers. I only have five, like, real friends. Four, I'm gonna just say five. It's nice. But yeah, I have five, four to five real friends. Like, that's all. Like, my circle is not big at all. Cause, like, I don't know. I just don't. I don't know how people can, like, have these big old friend groups. Like, I have, like, friends, like, a associates whatever you want to call it but like close friends that i trust telling my deepest like darkest secrets to like that I can vent to like i said five and that's all the rest are just like you know associates little friends you know so like that so yeah i don't really mess with people like that they just people move so funny nowadays it's like it's hard to recognize who really who really mess with you and who don't because people like I said, things can be deceiving. So people will act like they're your friend, but in reality, they fake. Nothing really like you seem really chill and pretty. Thank you. Um, I am pretty well. I'm chill if I'm not close to you. But like I said way earlier in the video, if we're close friends, I'm like goofy. I play around a lot. I'm really fun to be around. Like people think I'm boring and. Sh People think I'm super like boring, but that's cause I'm not close with you. So I'm not finna be jumping around 
with a bird suit on acting like a clown because like we're not that close but like if you're my close friend me yeah, i'll put on a little clown suit and give you a little circus party like i'm a you know joke around play around like i'm super fun to be around if y'all would take the time to get to know me which is cool because you know i don't i don't i don't need to let people know me i got my little five close friends that's all i need period that's all i need i don't need nobody else like fuck. but if y'all knew me then y'all would know that i'm super fun to be around like super fun like if you think i'm boring most likely well actually not most likely we're not close period if you think i'm boring we're not close we're not close sorry sorry to break it to you but we're not close because i'm not boring at all but like i have my chill moments of course but like if i'm close with you i'm turn i'll be turning it up youtube freaky you know i'm just playing but um shh if you know you know if you don't you don't I'm not gonna say too much gotta keep it stitch lit that you no longer mess with me heavy um yes i do we just you know when two people go to different schools it's kind of like hard to keep in contact especially because like school got me busy i don't know about you but me i'm busy but you know if you're watching this you need to hit me up hit me up let's make some plans let's link whatever so what you're trying to do just hit me up i got the same number you got my social so yeah mean mean no not me like i said for the 50 million time unless you're my best friend and my other close friends like my boyfriend i bully him but other than that i'm not mean i thought you was gonna be real when i first met you um I thought you were gonna be like mean rude too like that's my assumption about you like i thought you was gonna be rude too but was i no well i don't even know why i'm asking that because i know for a fact i'm not rude <laughs> but yeah like i said my resting my resting face is not too welcoming sorry can't control it it's natural i always thought you was funny and mean and a real friend and you're pretty and my sis thank you um i'm reading it like that's why my head is turned but that's that's what's funny yeah um i am funny that's one thing about me if we're close i make a lot of jokes and stuff so i'm, I'm funny a little funny here and there i could say it mean no and a real friend and pretty good my sis thank you i am a real friend so to all the people that are my friend i would advise you to keep me in your life because i'm very solid i'm a solid person like you feel me like when i fall out with people it's because of them i've never been the cause of me falling out with anybody like like ever like i'm not even lying i'm being so dead ass serious like i've never been the cause of that so don't take me for granted y'all like y'all should really like keep me by y'all side because it's rare to find people it's rare to find a real friend like myself kind of brag but i'm just being for real mean as hell mm -mm. sorry y'all my face is just Mm. my face but i'm not mean so yeah but okay guys um that's the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed it i enjoyed it um yeah i enjoyed it so hope you guys enjoyed it too if you're not already make sure you subscribe like comment share and all that good stuff make sure you stay tuned for the next video which will be coming soon because i actually like have an idea of what i want to do next so yeah bye and look at my new outro yeah.